All right, Shalom, another GMS on the go, back with another lesson. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Baha Hashem Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem Rakakwadash. That's who we give praise, honor, and glory to who you ignorantly call God and Jesus Christ. You got a whole lot of people wondering what, what, what we talking about and who names are we calling on. We're calling on who you ignorantly call God and Jesus Christ. That's who we praying to. Double honors to the head apostles and elders of great millstone, the one that taught me the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere. I can keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Hey, look, man. This is basically another lesson on just fearing the Lord. You know, you got all these people getting killed. Everybody's trying to figure out who's doing it. I mean, you should know by now. I mean, the, the pastor didn't teach you who's killing or who's making alive. You've been in, you've been going to church for 30, 40 years and you still don't know who's killing the people from off the, off the face of the earth. You still don't know. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, meaning the God of the Bible, man. All right? Let's get it again. We're going to get it again. We're going to get it as many times as we got to get it. This is the book of Samuel, 1 Samuel, chapter 2, verse 6. Let's, let's, let's light it up. The Lord killeth. All right? And then the Lord said, whoever perish being innocent. All these Israelites you see getting killed, won't well, none of them innocent, man. It was either selling drugs, worshiping idols, practicing witchcraft, you know, into some kind of wickedness, man. All right? Whoever perish being innocent, the Lord killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up, man. And, and that's plain. All the issues of death come of the Lord. We read these scriptures all the time. But then you got all the Israelites marching. Tearing up the streets, still acting like they don't know what's going on because they ain't, they ain't watching these videos. So, Rock also knows Ecclesiastes chapter 11, verse 14. I, Israel is not watching these videos because if, if they was watching the video, they wouldn't be out there marching, hooping and hollering, telling someone, oh, no justice, no peace, no racist police. If you, if you would watch these videos, you will understand what the hell is going on. So, Rock chapter 11, verse 14, prosperity and adversity, life and death poverty and riches come of the lord that's plain so if you know the lord is controlling all that once once again if you know the lord is controlling all that why are you not seeking him why israel negroes latinos and native americans we're showing you who's doing everything why aren't you seeking your power? A quick little lesson on who to fear. This is Amos chapter 5. Let you see it. Coming straight out the Bible. And the same Bible that's in your church or the same Bible that sets your house collecting dust. Amos chapter 5. Verse 4. Thus saith the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Unto the house of Israel. That's who we are. Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. That's exactly who we are. We're the children of Israel. Look, look, we're, we're the children of Israel. Once again. For thus saith the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh unto the house of Israel. A people before us a place. Seek ye me. You, you need to be searching for the Lord right about now. Instead of leaning into your own understanding. And ye shall live. Everybody that's getting killed they ain't living. Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, the ones that's not seeking the Lord, they get taken off the earth. Just remember. All those spirits, creative events, punishing the wicked to death and destruction, man. That, that's, a, that's exactly what's happening. Let's go to the third chapter. Israel keep forgetting the basics. The basics, the, the principal thing. The beginning of knowledge is the fear of the Lord. This is Amos chapter 3, verse 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil 
in a city and the Lord have not done it, everything that you see going on throughout the face of the earth, the Lord is controlling it. That's why we must what? Fear the Lord. You know? Psalms 34 and 9. Oh, fear the Lord. Look, look, you got 6,981 scriptures alone. They ain't including the Apocrypha on fearing the Lord, man. 6,981. But oh, yeah, well, we love the Lord. We ain't gonna fear him. Are you serious? Psalms 40, 34 and 9. Oh, fear the Lord. Ye his saints, the saints are the Israelites. For there is no want to them that fear him. The, the Israelites that are not fearing him. You, you see what's happening? You see what's happening? St. Luke 12 and 5. But I will forewarn you whom ye shall fear. Fear him, which either have killed, have power to cast into hell. Yea, I say unto you, fear him. Fear Yahweh by Shem Yahweh and stop playing that nonsense. Get off your nonsense and fear the Lord. Psalms 22, 23. Ye that fear the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, praise him. All ye the seed of Jacob, that's us. Glorify him and fear him, all ye the seed of Israel. It, it, it says every day. Every day, fear the Lord. Ecclesiastes, we're going to go straight to it. Ecclesiastes. Let's, let's, let's go to the chapter. Ecclesiastes chapter 8. Eleven. Because sentence against an evil word was not executed speedily. Therefore the heart, meaning the mind of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. You've been committing wicked acts you ain't get judged for it. So every day you're going to do it. Every day, another day you're going to do it. The day after that, you're going to do it until you finally get judged. But because judgment and Yahweh Bashim is long suffering, he gives us Israelites a, a chance to repent, to turn back from our wickedness, but Israel's is taking that for granted. You know. So because sins against an evil word was not executed speedily, therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil, right? Let's blow it up a little bit more. Though a sinner, with a sin transgress another law, though a sinner do evil, you know, the wickedness in a hundred times, and his days be prolonged, he's still alive, committing wicked acts. She's still alive, committing wicked acts. Yes, surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear the Lord. It's going to go well with those that fear the Lord, which fear before him. But it shall not be well with the wicked. What? But it shall not be well with the wicked. What? But it shall not be well with the wicked. You out there being wicked, it shall not go well with you. Even though everything is looking pretty fine for you right about now, pretty swell for you right about now, it's not going to go well. Your end all being all, it's going to be disastrous. Turn back, repent. Neither, neither shall he prolong his days, which are as a shadow, because he feareth not before your howl. By Shem was shot. So it's all about that fear. It's all about that fear, the fear of the Lord. Can't stress it enough. We must fear the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You know. Let's see. Look, look, look. Psalms 115 and 3. He will one, Psalms 115 and 13. He will bless them that fear the Lord. Did, did you not hear that, Israel? You, 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 I mean, you're not hearing this. The Israelites that are not fearing Yahweh, but Shem Yahweh Shai, they not, they will not be blessed. All right. I always tell myself, "Yo, how you doing? Oh, yeah, I'm blessed and highly favored until a couple of bullets hit that cranium. You know what I'm saying? You know, until a tree fall in your house and crush you while you laying in your bed. To fear the Lord, that's what that's what you can consider blessed. He will bless them that fear Him." Both small and great, man. All right? Both small and great. Proverbs 3 and 7. Just quick, a quick little lesson about fearing the Lord. Proverbs 3 and 7. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and depart from evil. Depart from evil. All right? Depart from evil, Israel. Let's see what else. 
Psalms 115 and 11, ye that fear the Lord, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. Psalms 2 and 11, serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. All right. Second Chronicles 19, 7. Wherefore now let the fear of the Lord be upon you. Take heed and do it. For there is no, slide it over, Salakia. For there is no iniquity with the Lord, our power, no respect of person, persons, nor taking of gifts. Get that, look, pretty much get down and lay down. Get down and lay down. Proverbs 14, 26. In the fear of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is strong confidence. And his children shall have a place of refuge. A, a refuge is a place of hiding from trouble. A refuge is a place that you go to when someone's chasing after you. What's our place of refuge? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai within these words. Look, look, Psalms chapter 147, verse 11. The Lord, listen, Israel. You just listen. Start what you're doing and listen. Psalms chapter 147, verse 11. The Lord. Yahweh by Shimei was shy, taketh pleasure in them that fear him. You want to know how you can please the Lord to fear him? Each and every day, Israel. The Lord taketh pleasure in them that fear him and those that hope in his mercy. A quick little lesson through the spirit of Yahweh by Shimei was shy, Lord, one of the elect of the nation of Israel, is edified. It's, it's all about fearing the Lord at the end of the day. Fearing Yahweh by Shimei was shy. Shalom.